Ah, frustrating, isn't it? Are you having a hard time rigging up your new slingshot? Well, today we're gonna go over how to put on a new set of bands to the slingshots that I sell on my website, as well as a natural fork slingshot. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery of Mischief. All right, so this is lesson two, tying on and attaching your bands. There is two different types, uh, or actually three different types of band installments with the slingshots that you purchase from my website, and uh, or an older uh, making your own with maybe the bug out bottle here that you can get on the website and make your own, which is the same way you would attach them to the torque. So we're gonna go over these, but I'm gonna put the time right up here in the corner. So if you bought the Oculus, the Torque, or the Scout, or the Hammer, you can just skip right ahead to that time and watch about that one. I think the easiest thing is, I'm going to start out with the Oculus. Oculus is a slingshot that has rubber uh, grommets, I guess it, as it were. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but grommet sounds good to me. And each slingshot comes with an instructional booklet from Simple Shot about rigging your slingshot. And we don't need that. I'm just kidding. We do need that. Uh, but I already have it memorized, so we are just going to go right for it. I'm going to show you how to do this. Each slingshot comes with this little bag with the rubber pieces. And those are what's going to go in your holes here and hold your slingshot band in place. Right now, this one has a black latex straight flat bands. It's a fairly light band. So when you get these, these are good for, you probably do some half inch ammo, but mostly like 3 8 ammo is what you want to be rigging with this. This is, was, incidentally, was my everyday carry up until recently when I switched over to the Torque. I love having Slingshot in my back pocket all the time. Right now I even got my Torque right there in my pocket, always ready to go. Um, you never know when you had a fun shot. I got a little pouch here on my side with ammo, so I could totally just bust it out and, uh, shoot a can somewhere or whatever, just to be out and about and get the out and about practice. It's a great way to learn instead of just always shooting at the range. So, we got our bands. I'll show you, zoom it in here. There's the, some band tie-ons that come with your pouches, just in case you choose to tie it on. Now all Oculus, slingshots will be the same as far as this part and these pieces are not ammo so don't shoot those you press those down into the rubber now these are your stoppers that hold your band your bands onto your slingshot now with the oculus you can orientate your bands in multiple directions you put them always the bands come around the slingshot. Whether you shoot over the top, your bands go like that. They always go around, around the side of the slingshot. So let's say for this one, we want the bands to go over the top. You lay it out with the pouch straight back from your slingshot with the inside, the soft side of the pouch facing up. I'll explain why in a second. Push the band through the hole, and a little bit, a little bit, fold over, maybe a eighth or a quarter of an inch, and stick the stopper, basically, in the hole. Once you have it pressed in firmly enough, a little bit, all you have to do to get this to seat is pull on the band and push on this with your thumb just a little bit. You pull, give it a little push, and pull on the band. It's hard to do it while showing it to you. There we go. The first time you rig it, it may be a little bit on the stiff side, pushing it in and pulling. So there's one. And then lay it out on the other side so that you can see that you're Pouch is soft side up, the inside of the pouch, same as the other side was, pushing it through. Folding over a tab of quarter of an inch. Put 
pushing the stopper. Push it into the hole and then pull on the band while pushing it into the hole at the same time. It's kind of an awkward thing, but it goes really well after you've done it once or twice. All right, so we've seated our first set of bands. To know that we've done it right, we notice something here. This, I put it in my teeth so I could point it out to you. The bands come over the top. I put those on a little crooked, but that's the nice thing about this. You can straighten it out. I put those on over the top, and you see that there's a V here, right? The inside of the pouch is here where the ammo goes. There's a V. If you were to have done it wrong, the pouch would be like this, and you see how the bands come over the top, and it kind of creates an A. For A is for absolutely wrong. It causes it to go through the middle more. When you're going over the top, you always want it to be a V like this for victory. That it goes, that causes it to throw the the bands and everything over the top, and the ammo over the top of the frame of the slingshot a little more smoothly, and you're less likely to get some sort of a return to sender. Now, picking your band length. That's something you're going to have to play around with, and I would look up on forums and stuff like that the more you get into it. The bands, that, the length that they come at, this is the length that I would shoot at. But for you, you're going to want to calculate that down to something more reasonable. I shoot like this. What you want is the bands to bottom out when you're stretching and drawing to about your cheek if you're a first time starter. You don't want to start out with shooting the way I do it, a full, as a big draw and bringing your cheek down onto it. Start out with the bands almost bottoming out when you stretch them. So I would do that just by grabbing your bands, stretch it out, and then be like, oh, I can pull it back to ear fairly easily. So bring them a little bit shorter, figure out your band length, and then adjust it with your Oculus. That's the nice thing about this, is instead of spending all the time and tying it on, you want to adjust it, you pop out the piece there, pop out that piece, pull, oh, Pull two inches through, drop her back in, and give it a yank, and push down on it while you're doing so, seating that back all into place again. And then proceed to do the same thing to the other one. This thing's gonna be a little piddly putsy till you get used to this kind of thing. I like tying on my bands personally. And with this slingshot, you could tie on your bands just as easily. Get the band set, drop the plugs in there. Make sure you seat that steel shot into the center of the plug fairly tightly so that it doesn't pop out over time. And, uh, and then just tie your band set on, and the plug plugs would help you with that. So, now I've re-rigged it, I've changed the length. Before I trim that off, I want to give it a try. Pull it back, there we go. For somebody shooting from your cheek, like somebody that's going from archery, you want to start out with something like that. You know, be able to bring it back to your cheek. That's a good length. Maybe you could even pull a little bit further and bring it back to your ear. Be able to sight down your bands on your target. So all the Oculus slingshots, including the hammer, which I sell, are all rigged the same way. This one, as you can see, the hammer is rigged so they go around the outside. When you get your Oculus slingshot, you maybe you've shot before, maybe you haven't. You can always, it's probably easiest to always rig them so they go around the outside. That's the probably the most easy way to become accurate with your slingshot so that when you draw, you're able to sight down your bands and aim it at your target. And there's even a little dimple here that when you're drawing, you can kind of see that and you can put that on your target that right there at the top. So, um, that one's rigged to go around the outside. And then also with the the hammer comes the arrow rig, and this is the same sort of thing. You have this tubing on this time though, but you still use the same grommet. You put the tubing up through the hole, take the grommet, the rubber plug, push it in there, and then all you have to do is just pull down on that tubing. Pull down on the tubing while pushing in on the plug a little bit until it seats 
those oculus plugs in place. You see it's all seated there now, just like the other side. You're ready to take this and snap this into your slingshot and transform the hammer from a uh, regular slingshot to a arrow shooting sling bow. So let's move on to the torque. The torque has an awesome easy rig uh, bands that come with it, which are quite simple. But there is a little trick to these. You can see it in the instructions. The instructions cover everything on how to do this. So if, if you watch me and then you uh, read the instructions or read the instructions, and maybe you don't even need to watch me. These are an easy rig of looped bands. They're popular in China. And uh, so this one was designed to fit these. And literally all you have to do is you have your pouch just like so, the inside of the pouch here. And there's this little notch right there. You just put the bands over top of that and pull. Now, the convenience of this is awesome, but it is also a very scary slingshot and can be very painful if you fire it wrong. You need to always be aware that when you load your ammo, maybe you load like this and you bring it around, these bands, if you get into the corner here and pull, boom, that comes right back out of there. The convenience, I feel like, is kind of outweighed by the the fact that it's if you're not paying attention you get smacked in the side of the face so you got to pay attention that when you rig it I tend to rig them like this put the ammo in bring it this way draw it back and then you can fire and if you keep up a consistent pattern of loading you know bring your slingshot back drop your ammo in pull back on it straight back so that you know that they're not seated in the wrong way and gonna snap out of there like that Pull straight back on it first, then twist your wrist forward, bringing the slingshot out, aim down your bands, off the corner of your slingshot, and let that can or whatever you're shooting at have it. And um, so in the end, I started shooting the slingshot more because I switched out to myself to bands. I switched up to um, I've been using latex, band, latex bands, you can see that in the next video. I cut my own latex bands and I rig them with warrior pouches, which are, I, I think, the ultimate pouch right here. They, they're very sick. Um, I shoot them on all my slingshots, my speed shooting slingshot. There's a stiffer one for that. Uh, this one here, that one's still got a little bit of life left in it. I really like these. And they also have like these completely resilient like plastic ones, um, laminated to leather and um, this one's just plain kangaroo, but most of them are all some sort of a laminated leather and uh, ultra tough canvasy material, kind of like uh, Carhartts would have. So now you've shot these bands for a little bit maybe, or you purchased another set of bands with it, and you want to switch to the flat bands. Let's tie a set of flat bands on. These can be purchased on the website too as replacement bands for the Scout. It's just a single 7 8 band, um, latex, straight, flat bands. Nice little, nice little uh, average band set. Uh, as you shoot more, you might want to get into something a little faster, like a more pure latex. I think this is like the fastest latex and uh, tapered configuration where these are inch and an eighth to down. I'll show you that more in the next video. So tying on the bands is so easy. I showed somebody a couple months, I don't know, four or five months back, and uh, man, I made a mess of it. I used to tie them all the time, but it's so much easier than tying them. Just like the other one, except for this one's only over the top, so you have no choice. I'll bring it in close here. You basically lay out your, your band, pouch, ammo side up, lay out the band, lay about an inch of it onto the slingshot. And uh, I'm gonna use a different tie on so you can see it better. All right, so you take a tie on. I like to make these tie ons and keep them a foot long so I have extra. And you pinch that down to the band, right? And then you just wrap it around. A bunch of times. All right, now we get to the end. Before you get to the end end, you can fold that tab up a little bit and pin that down one or two turns. 
All right, and then right at the end, come around one more time with your thumb, and you put that right over the top of your thumb. And then you take that last tail, and you bring it up and pinch it under your thumb. So I'm just gonna bring it up, pinch it under my thumb, and roll my thumb back, and let that be pinched underneath the wrapping. Boom, you're done. Your slingshot's rigged on there, give her a couple tugs. They always shoot over the top, always pull over the top. You never pull on a slingshot band like this. You don't rig them and then pull in this direction. It comes over the slingshot, whether it shoots over the side on a slingshot or it's a slingshot that just shoots over the top. Lay the other one on there. You see that the pouch is rigged up like this and you got your V right here instead of like this where you have kind of an A pattern which means you have absolutely screwed up. You got your V and take on another elastic band. I like the one foot long natural gum rubber that I cut my own strips for bands because if I'm out in the field and I uh, break the band and I have some extra band length I could use that to, uh, to tie on another pouch, whatever it takes. I don't have to carry extra stuff in my pockets. It's right there with me. Fold it up and over. Fold. So I got it wrapped this many times here, a bunch of times around it. Fold it up and over. And bring it around a couple more times. Pinning that little tab down. Right there. Fold it around. Do it around. Now one more time around my thumb. Bring it around my thumb. Bring that last tail up, bring that tail up, pin it under my thumb, roll my thumb back, and now it's pinned underneath the wrap, and you're good to go. All right, so there it is. That's the torque with a band set rigged onto her. Always check it every time you shoot, before you shoot, pulling on the band set, looking for cracks and damage in your band, and especially here at the pouch end, I think they almost always break at the pouch end first, and you can retie it on see my next video uh, is how to tie on pouches and make your own bands and you can tie if they break here at the band and the rest of the thing looks like the integrity is intact and it doesn't have a bunch of damage you can always tie the pouch back on trim the whole band set down by a little bit and retie the pouch back on there again so all right let's move on to the scout gen 2 the scout gen 2 has instructions and it has a system unlike the other ones for screwing on your uh, a bracket that holds your and pinches your bands in place. So take that out. And we'll rig that up. The scout bands come with just the seven eighths straight bands. Replacement bands can be purchased on the website. And let's rig with this one up. Now you, if you see these indents, these are for your fingers. It goes like that. So this is the side you always you always attach your bands to the side away from you. So you'd be shooting this like this. You attach the bands to the side away from you, and they pull over the frame, either over the top of the frame or over the side of the frame. So let's rig this puppy up. All right. So there's the little bracket system. So you notice the little ridge side on this side of it, and that's the side that you're going to put in the slingshot. Even now we're going to go around the outside. So you put your ridge side on that side. And that pops into the little indent there and pinches the band in place. I'm going to put the screws in and get them started and then I'll tuck the band in and have it do its thing. It's very simple. There's the, the locker on this side and then on this side there's a washer and the screw. So you got your bracket right there sticking up. Pop the band in there. Make sure you get it the right way around. Now it's pinched. That's the side that the the soft inside of the pouch right there. Take it down. We still got it locked in place here and tighten up your screw. And this is all plastic, so you want to be careful you don't over tighten it. Because you could just keep you just keep cranking on that and you could just strip that whole puppy right out. But don't be afraid if you do. You can always tie them on. Each of the band sets come with the little ties that you can use to tie on your bands. 
All right, so the bands are all locked into place now with the plates. You can see the uh, bands come around the outside, always coming around the slingshot, whether it's over the top or around the outside. Now that you've got them locked in, stress check them to make sure that they're not gonna slip out of there. Give them a little tug. Check on your pouches, always checking your pouches and where they're locked in over here all the time, every time you shoot, maybe even halfway your shoot. If you're walking back and you've got ammo and you put it in your pocket and you're walking, take the time to, to give it a check. It's no fun to shoot your eye out. I have never even come close to it and for the most part, it would be very hard to do. For the most part, you draw back, you draw back to your cheek, if that's your anchor point, you draw back to your ear, or if you're like me, I draw back way back here and I bring my cheek down till my cheek hairs just touch the band and I can feel it there. So even when I've had a slingshot break when I was first making them, you know, the piece of the frame comes flying back, but because it's not, you never want to draw back to your eye like this. I've seen a couple people shoot like that and it just seems like a recipe for losing an eyeball, you know? They shoot like this. You always shoot, you know, down here, lower on your cheek, you know? or drawing back and putting your cheek hairs against it. And it's, it's good practice. Use some goggles. If you, want, if you don't want to lose an eye, then wear some glasses, safety glasses or something like that. All right, so maybe you over tighten your brackets or maybe you just want the scout to be have the bands tied on. And maybe you started your project and you lost your little scraps here to tie them on or you threw them out because you thought there was some garbage. You could just as easily use rubber bands, but you've got to be careful with rubber bands. They tend to break more often than not. People tend to have them around for a long period of time and elastic when it's exposed and it's in the sun or in the air, it's, it immediately starts to break down. So we're gonna tie on these bands just to show you it's possible uh, to the Scout. And it's just as simple as you hold it up. I'll zoom here in here. All right, that's the way you hold your slingshot, right? So you take that and you tie the band onto the other side of it the side that faces away from you when you're drawing it. I just put a piece of about three quarter of an inch covering the end and then pinch that piece of rubber band and just wrap it on. Wrap it, pinch it, wrap it, pinch it, wrap it. Maybe a couple wraps and fold that little tab over. Tie that down with a couple more wraps. And the simplest part, when you get to the end, you got one more time around, you put your thumb in there, go over your thumb, like so. Tuck it under your thumb when you come back around the next time, and then just roll your thumb back, and pull that through and underneath that piece so it's just pinched in place, like so. Now you got one side on there, and you give her a tug check. Yep, nice, she's stable. Make sure your bands are all, when they wrapped around, they kind of stayed in the notch. You don't want one coming over and slipping behind here and ruining the integrity of your tie-on. All right, let's line it up. Lay down the other band on the other side. Give her a pinch. Make sure your pouch is oriented in the right direction, the way you want it to be. Pinch your rubber band. I would never unless you really had to, use string as a replacement. It might be one thing to use rubber bands, but I don't recommend using string. I think string is too hard, and that as the band works against the string when you're pulling it and stuff like that, it actually causes it to saw through it. One more time around over my thumb, and bring it up, tuck it under my thumb, bring my thumb over top, roll it back, and bringing that tail in place, boom, right there. She's all pinched under there. So I got my bands on. This one is ready to rock. Give her a, t a pull, pull test. Make sure that they are rigged on there properly. Check your pouch. I don't care if it's brand new or not. Always checking, always checking. It's no fun to have one break on you. you now, make sure you're ready to go. Make sure you're rigged properly. And you're good to go out there and get shooting. When it comes to choosing your band length, that's something you're gonna have to play around with. I like to shoot a really long draw. This one, for somebody my size, if we were to rig it and you were to get it and you've been an archer, you'd probably wanna shorten the bands. So you might wanna start out by 
grabbing the bands, pulling them back to your cheek and feel where it bottoms out. You'll feel it bottom out and you bring it back and be like, oh, I could actually make those a little shorter. Mark it out on the bands like that's where I want it to cross the top of the frame right there now. That stretch is good to the length that I have when my hands are drawn out. Mark that with a little pen and then you can tie it on like that. I would tie it on and then snip off the extra first just in case you're like, oh, that's a, I rigged it up. Now it's a little short and then you go and cut it. The longer your draw is, the faster you can get that ammo moving. This kind of a slingshot works really well with half inch steel as well as uh, 3 8 steel. A little bit smaller than that. You don't want to be chucking rocks with these slingshots. These are not rock chuckers. The, you can put rock chucker bands on them and they will work, but um, these bands are not rock chuckers and the pouches don't really work well with rocks. So let's do the last slingshot, which is a natural fork. So maybe you bought or, uh, just a band set. You know, there's multiple different types of band sets that you can buy on the website, whether it's just a backup scout one, if you want to build a lighter slingshot, you want to build a mid range, uh, like a double layer latex band set that you could buy on there. All of them come in this UV protected packages. And this is called the bug out bottle. This thing's pretty cool because it comes with, it's the full kit of your slingshot. If you have the ability to whittle even a little, I'm already taking some of the ammo out of it so I can get there. It comes with all this ammo plus what's in here now and some uh, rubber bands for tying on your slingshot uh, band. Instructions, which are always a pain in the neck to get out of there. So it comes with a good deal. This whole bottle full of half inch ammo. Three days later, uh, the instructions right here. Just like all the other slingshots, this one shows not really so much how to carve it, but just proper procedure, which I'm going to show you right now, of how to tie the bands onto a natural fork slingshot. So there's the big pile of ammo it comes with. That'll keep you busy for a while, especially if you're smart about it and you use it. Um, I like to put it in a cardboard box. You see my first video for uh, catch boxes and different ways so that you don't just waste your ammo shooting it out into the yard. And these are a rock chucker set. These are a red heavy latex with a big, look at that, see the size of that pouch? It really does a nice job on rocks. And these big red latex bands that uh, can carry the load, basically. And so just like the other ones, it comes, this one though, with this one comes with rubber bands. So you simply take those rubber bands that it comes with, take your awesome knife, cold steel, my favorite knife, ultimate hunter. Actually, I don't know if this is my favorite knife. I kind of like the uh, Swiss Army knife, but either way. So just like all the other slingshots, you lay it out, pouch side up with the ammo, hold that up, put that onto your natural fork slingshot if you've carved one like this. Um, you can carve it and just leave, you can just snip the end off. You don't have, I like to carve them with a little notch in there that it goes into just like the other slingshots. I, I feel like it gives me a nice shooting line of straightness across when they're rounded on top and they pull over. I don't know, it works just the same. Some people prefer it one way and some people another. So you get your pouch on there, off the top, pinch it with your finger, take that little rubber band piece, pinch that under your thumb, and then start wrapping. You wanna wrap that puppy on there good. I think with this one I'll leave the, leave the tail just long. Just wrap it really good. Come around with that last wrap, pinning your thumb down, and you bring that last little bit of tail and you pinch it under your thumb and your thumb's holding that in place and then you just roll your thumb back and it pulls that piece underneath of the last wrap that was over your thumb. Line up your other side the same way. Your pouch is back here with your ammo in it. So that's your half inch steel, put your ammo in it and you've got a V here when it's on there right. If it's on there wrong, you have an A. For absolutely wrong, you want it this way, so it's a V for, I don't know, victory or whatever. Pinch the rubber band with your thumb and start wrapping. It's 
stretching, oop, stretching and wrapping. All right, you got your last time around, go over your thumb, bring that tail up and tuck it under your thumb. Now it's pinched under your thumb and roll your thumb back until it pops through. Now that tail is pinched underneath that last wrap that was over your thumb. Your slingshot is now ready to go. It's time to get out there and play. This one's pretty fun. Making your own slingshot's always fun. Comes with a couple extra ties, so a couple times. Always checking your bands. Every time while you're shooting, sometimes, you know, you return back at the end of the evening or you're walking back from your target, always check your bands, especially at the pouch and check it here, make sure it's still tied on and, and good to go. There, there's not any tears in the uh, slingshot band or tubing, depending on how you rig it up. There you have it. That's slingshot uh, a band attachment in its simplest form. Uh, whether it's the Oculus or tying on your band, it's, it's really easy to do. Next time, we'll get into uh, how to cut your own bands and tie your pouches onto your own bands and make your own band sets and attach them. And the time after that, we will get into how to aim accurately with a slingshot. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bowler out.